an alert that affects all the Gulf states. Hurricane Ida is expected to make landfall tomorrow. And already, Louisiana has issued a state of emergency, and the National Guard is ready to mobilize. Our own Dave Price is at the National Hurricane Center in Miami to fill us in on this. Is this cause for concern, Dave? Good morning. Well, certainly any hurricane is, and of course, a late season hurricane is particularly rare in November, Maggie. Ed Rappaport behind me getting ready to brief stations all across the country. Right now, here's what we know. An intermediate advisory has just come out. 80 mile per hour winds for Ida, 16 mile per hour forward speed to the north, northwest. That's what you're looking at right now. Hurricane force extend uh, outward 35 miles and tropical storm force winds extend 200 miles from the center. Now, there have only been four hurricanes since 1900 that have made landfall in November. Of course, this is going to be one of those events, but it's weakening rapidly. That's the good news. And again, keep in mind that even as this storm weakens, people along the Gulf Coast know better than to ignore it. Overnight forecasts show Ida beginning to weaken, but still packing a punch. It should brush near Louisiana and Mississippi and gradually weaken, making landfall by tomorrow morning, potentially near the Alabama border. Ida is then expected to continue across North Florida. In the Sunshine State, Escambia County officials tracking Hurricane Ida are encouraging people in low-lying areas to simply get out. Conditions are going to deteriorate, winds are going to increase, the rains are going to begin, and we should really begin to feel tropical storm force winds. At least 124 people died and dozens are missing in El Salvador after heavy rains and floods buried whole towns there. Earlier, those rains were linked to Ida, but now the National Hurricane Center says those rains were part of a separate storm system out of the Pacific. Still, Ida could produce five to eight inches of rain in the hardest hit areas. Historically, only 5% of all tropical storms and tropical activity occurs after November 1st. This season, we've had nine named storms, three hurricanes, and two of those have been major. But of course, this is going to be a significant late season event. We'll continue to watch it. Good news is, though, some vertical shear. That means the storm's beginning to weaken somewhat. Harry, we'll send it back to you and update you with full national weather picture in just a couple of minutes. We hope it stays that way. Thanks, Dave.